I'd like to set a few things straight about what I'm doing with the law known as Section 7AA. I came to Parliament to put the well-being of the child first, not culture, not the treaty, but the safety and the happiness of the child. Section 7AA had good intentions. It was introduced to keep vulnerable children connected to their whakapapa as they journey through the state care system. But the results of Section 7AA have shown the danger of putting whakapapa first. We've seen children being taken out of loving foster homes because the carers were the wrong race. Some have been placed back into unsafe environments for the sake of being with the right race. I've heard caregivers tell me of being forced to send children to visit previous abusers just to keep the family connections with the attitude that the child needs to know where they came from. I've watched footage of a reverse uplift where four young siblings were taken, crying, traumatised, from a forever home after three years because Oranga Tamariki disapproved of the foster parents' British culture and discovered a more culturally appropriate relative. Unknown to the children at the other end of the country, these outcomes betray the positive promise of Oranga Tamariki the promise that every child in care of the state deserves the same standard of safety and care, regardless of their race. That is the promise I intend to keep as Minister. Thank you.